Remember to always consult your physician before starting any shake weight workout. Welcome to the shake weight upper body workout. My name is Christopher Thomas and today I'll be putting you through the workout. We're going to work on three specific moves with the shake weight. Front, reverse, single arm. For all exercises, we'll assume the same stance. Feet shoulder width apart, toes straight ahead, slight load at the hips, and we'll continue our upper body workout from that. We're gonna start with the front. So let's go with a nice stance, and then we'll get the shake weight moving. We're gonna go 30 seconds and 15 second rest twice around. Second time around, 30 seconds. Here we go. Same stance. Trying to let the shake weight do all the work. Just put a little effort into it. Keep it moving. Five, four, three, two, one more. And another stretching, 15 second recovery. Next we'll go reverse for 30 seconds. Second part of the workout is the reverse. So we're gonna assume our stance. Again, feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna sit at our hips to make sure we're not back extending. We'll go left hand over right, chin off your chest, and we'll go about 30 seconds. Just concentrating on the triceps. We're going to start to feel the burn. Stay in your stance. Long arms, full range of motion on the snow angel. Assume your stance. Here we go. Five, four, three. Two, one, we'll do some standing snow angels. Transfer the weight, 15 seconds recovery. We're just gonna get range of motion on the shoulders since we're holding in one position with that reverse. We're gonna make sure the shoulders get fully stretched out in the back, and some of the chest. Before we go again. Now we'll move to the single arm. Start with the stance. Feet shoulder width apart, balance at the hips. We're going to raise the arm, elbow in line with the shoulder, and then fist in line with the elbow. We're going to lock the wrist and the shoulder in. Opposite arm, you can go for balance, but your shoulders got to be in play to hold yourself stable. 
go 30 seconds and then 15 second recovery. Our active recovery in this will be a shoulder press. And here we go. So we're gonna maintain a lot of stability upper body wise. We're pushing the weight, pulling it back as much as we can. About 30 seconds. Maintaining posture. And then active recovery in five, four, three, two, one. And then we'll press. Stretching that muscle tissue back out after we've compacted it and made it load. We'll get a full range of motion on this press. All the way through the shoulder, incorporating some of the back, some of the chest. Start with your stance, elbow, shoulder high, and we'll press to start. Locking in, when it gets hard, push harder. Let the weight do what it does. Five, four, three, two, one. Good press. Five, four, three, two, one. It's always advisable to maintain a breathing pattern through the work. It's not suggested you hold your breath, especially with this. Switch hands. Same placement here. Starting. You might notice an imbalance of strength at first, which you can alleviate that problem with adding more time on your weak side versus the other, or just more reps. But you want to eliminate that imbalance for full function. Active recovery. Five, four, three, two, one more. And then into the press. And again, trying to keep as much form and good range of motion on your active recovery as much as with the shake weight through the work. Elbow line the shoulder, fist line with elbow, tighten in, here we go. Again, we're gonna try not to have rotation at the shoulders. Try to keep hips in line with the shoulders, facing forward, weight stays high, shake. Other arm resting, it's more for stability. Both shoulders gotta be in play for that stabilization to kick in. Five, four. Three, two, one. And press for recovery. Okay, so there you go. That's your six minute workout. See you tomorrow.